Happy New Year. Happy Holidays, everyone. We were thinking about following up on stories that we covered this past year, and that's when I realized we haven't even touched the scathing audit of the Tennessee Department of Children's Services we got a few weeks back. We saw pictures of where kids slept on the floors in state office buildings and cans of food were spread out to feed kids who couldn't be placed in foster homes. The audit found how one caseworker called all 49 foster parents in one county simply trying to place a teenage boy in a home. All 49 parents turned them down. Foster families are overwhelmed themselves, they have fewer of them, and they're just saying no. And so caseworkers are left with that. Kids weren't just sleeping in office buildings. Just this month, we reported DCS left a child with a mental health diagnosis at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital for 270 days. You can't place kids, you can't investigate things if you don't have caseworkers. And there are hundreds and have been hundreds of vacancies. DCS is now counting on lawmakers to increase their budget in 2023 to bump pay for caseworkers and hopefully keep them long enough to find these children homes. These caseworkers, they need to be paid more. One year ago, the starting salary was $35,000. This month, it rose to $43,000. These caseworkers must have a college degree. So you're asking a lot for not a lot of money. So what do you think? How should we go about solving what the state is calling a children's services crisis?